works is Oriana. Something to get hyped for, the Zaya. Honestly, though, uh, Ryu as well has been something that, you know, people keep bringing up as being underperforming. But the Corky has been his, you know, most recent best performing champion. So as far as P1's perspective, they did get a lot of high value picks for themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, it just does seem that it will be a little bit treacherous for them to navigate the early game. Trick now, actually, with uh, Expect. Hopping around the jungle, they are seeing Mike Young on this ward here. Yeah, I would expect him to stay in here. You know, he has vision control, he has the level lead, uh, pretty much full control of Mike. Oh, leaps right into that cocoon. Now Trick laying down a bit of damage. Mike Young, where can you go? Flash out to safety, goes up, comes down, and that's going to be first blood for Trick. Huge, huge here for Trick to take over the jungle, catch Mike Young as he greedily tries to go back into his own territory after giving up his position. This is dream town for Elise. She should just take over the game. Bottom lane oh, is her next Oh, an special and arrow. Going to knock him up. Waiting for that rocket grab from Mithy. Where can Expecial go? He's already flashed. Dodges the cocoon. Does he have enough fancy footwork? Pulls him back into the tower. Mithy now in trouble. Has to flash out to safety. TP coming in on the backside. P1 want to keep this fight going. They are unafraid. In goes Zig. That's the bear trap on the road. Mithy going to get pulled back. The mana barrier buying a bit of time, but that's the kill for Arrow. Suddenly, G2 at a disadvantage. This is going to see G2 pushing in the top side though expect never even channeled his teleport uh, to even come down to the bottom side so this wave gets pushed into top side zig will be missing this cs this experience on top of that he did not get the kill so he doesn't have that gold either and renekton into cled already renekton advantage so uh zig might have a hard time coming forward Kobe, as a jungler, do you like the fact that Trick did not go for early boots? He just had enough gold to completely upgrade his jungle item. Actually, talk about after. That thought. Lee Ford, Cahoon going to interrupt Ryu immediately. Perks now walking back into the fight. Kick back, but not going to find the knockup. Now Perks potentially in trouble. Ryu looking for the outplay. Up goes Elise. She has to come down. Kled is on the way. Oh! Now leaping up. Perks running for his life. Shield. Mike Young with the auto. P1 now on top. Expect. Could get caught between three here, but at the end of the day, that's just the play for P1. And he hits the sonic waves that matter here in the comeback. Phoenix won, and this time, this is not Mike Young getting Ryu going. Ryu here with his package, charging in, face tanking, and getting that extra kill. And to the point that you were about to bring up there, where you're talking about the boots on Elise, uh, not only even not getting boots, but sometimes we'll see early Moby boots. Currently in the bottom yeah, exactly. lane, good trade here. Play back, Featherstorm comes out, gonna bring the blades back in, and Expecial now in trouble. Exhaust is wearing off, Expecial's running for his life, and Arrow is all alone, but still willing to extend the trade, still trying to keep it going, because Mike Young is here. Blade back, taken out and out of nowhere. The Lee Sin comes in again. So they start this trade way ahead of time. Okay, Trick on the top side wants to dismount Zig. No chance to talk, he's gonna sidestep the cocoon. Bear Trap on a rope, not gonna connect, but the pocket pistol takes him to safety. He is going to have to flash to get into this play, uh, but look at the flash into W and kill here for Mike Young, and then they barely win this first turret gold race as well. So, you know, showing up very big after the early uh, jungle game went awry oh, for Mike Young. Oh. Arrow getting aggressive, Perks in trouble. Out comes the spray and pray. Ryu trying to throw down the big one. That's Ooh. another kill for P1. Classic move with the Twitch here. Once you are unleashed, you can just start roaming into these lanes here. No flash from Perks after losing that last fight near the blue buff. Very easy kill for P1 in mid. And they're actually doing what they did yesterday. Once they get a small advantage, they're doing a great job at snowballing. Oh, He's going to have a oh, very no. hard time getting out of this one. <laughs> Three members strong. Sven running for his life. No cooldown on the Feather Storm. And that's a dead Zaya. G2 back out onto the field to grab an objective for themselves, though. Rift Hero does take a while, and Expecial and Mike Young are in the area. But I don't believe uh, they think that they're actually on it, though. Even though they have wards surrounding it. We're over the wall with spot expect. They know that he's hitting something. Must oh, be the Rift Herald. Oh, late. He's going to take it down, but Mike Young is on the way. Oh, Zig is on the way oh. as well. Can they block them off the eye of the Herald? And it looks like they just might. P1 can deny the Rift Herald. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you can't pick up the eye. Oh, Shockwave hitting multiple members. Zig, though, leaping into the back line. Expect cannot peel enough for the team, but Mike Young is in trouble. He's dropping lower and lower, and Trick is going to grab that kill. Suddenly, Zig, he's in no man land either. Out comes the Featherstorm, brings it back, roots him down, but Sven, he can't save himself, and that's Arrow on a rampage. Yeah, Arrow just went back, got his Blade of the Ruin King. Joining this fight with ulti, four kills for him now, and P1, they just saw the Rift Hell die in the end. They didn't stop it, but they got some kills. Ryu, he wants more. Oh, oh. not able to interrupt it in that last point. Oh, five seconds. But Phoenix won absolutely big punish here because there are no flashes on the carries of G2. Perks is roaming up to help, you know, and they're lending support, but Phoenix won are bringing everyone here, and they, they have to respect you know, the charge from Zig. They immediately go on the chase. 
P1 just happy to pressure out the mid lane, happy to take these advantages where they can get them. Pressure on the top side as well. Only Sven alone to push out the bottom side. Oh, and now he Zin, led. he's running forward. Mike Young, he's kicking back the competition. Expect just getting the chain CC brought on. The hook connects as well. And that's one Renekton who is not going to survive. P1 set to take that tier two. A great use of the advantage. Perks trying to get some damage onto P1. Flash comes out from the hook. Trick doing what he can to hold on. Clears the wave with the shockwave. And that means the G2 will at least hold on to the tower, but still starting to fall behind in gold. Ryu has package right now. Oh, the scuttle grab is actually big. The face checking no longer, you know, quite necessary. We'll see if they actually get out of this one, though. Phoenix oh. roaming up. Package used. Perks potentially in trouble. Keep your eyes on Expecial because the charge is coming in. Zig now attached. They're looking to kick him back to the wall. Perks doesn't even get to push any buttons. No chance to respond. The same kind of play again from P1 where every single member is just ready to go all in. And Zig with the Tled ulti. It was a speed up. Some of the other guys on his team to catch Perks. So Yomark doesn't even want to watch the game anymore. He's just looking away. Pulled back, hooked in. This is going to be disastrous for G2. The Feather Storm Sven dishing out as much damage as he can, but he cannot compete with that spray and pray. And now it's barren in the eyes of P1. Double Mountain Drakes for Phoenix 1. They should be able to melt this, even with Scuttlecrab, even with this vision. Not really a big case here. Unless Trick runs over very quickly, fat flashes, and maybe sacrifices himself. He could go for the hero play. Oh, he's he's trying. Not going to too late. <laughs> oh, the itsy bitsy spider. Surprise! Not oh. gonna make it out. And now P1, if there was any doubt after that early game, they are in absolute control now. P1 are playing this game really well. All right, your speech was a little bit more depressing. All right, here we go, though. I expect <laughs> it's one. So they definitely made trouble. Dismounted <laughs> and dropped. G2. That's gonna make it a lot easier to survive this last minute of the Baron buff. Always the cast occurs. Well done, Deficient. Yeah. Well done. Every I, time. I was about to say, hey, if you look at P1 the first couple weeks, you'd say, well, 10k gold lead, not confident they can end this game. But you look at them the last few times, it's pretty good. Uh, another choice or option uh, for G2 is hope that P1 maybe doesn't execute the Baron properly and mm -hmm. see if you can steal the Baron or maybe if you can catch them with a shockwave inside the Baron pit. So what they're doing now is, before Baron even spawns, they're setting up a lot of vision around it and then see if they, maybe they can catch P1. Mike Young is going in here, so that's a guy. Oh, kick back. Oh, oh. They're going to get pulled back in. Mike Young now in trouble, knocked up. But Zig is on the way to the back line. You may be keeping your eyes on Mike Young, but you need to watch that clan because he's going to try to find a kill on Mithy, but Mike Young is still, still alive. <gasps> Ryu now on a rampage. The Lee Sin getting out by the skin of his teeth, and G2, they're just going to get routed. Oh, man, yeah, you better keep your eyes on Mike Young because he was all over the place in that little skirmish. Does end up getting out alive afterwards, too. He did not hesitate. As soon as he saw Mithy, he's like, yeah, they're probably all here. And he instantly <laughs> goes for the kickback on him, trying to ensure a kill for his team rather than trying to run away. Now Ryu flashing forward, looking for the outplay on a Perks. Going to miss a few skill shots, and Perks doing what he can with the fancy footwork, but Ryu's just playing with his food because now P1 are breaking into the base. They're extending this gold lead even further. They got their sights set on two inhibitors, and with five members, G2 Oink. cannot take down Mike Young. I think that is the best death sentence I have heard of. Baron is now spawning, and P1 are instantly on it. So G2 tried that one little play. They're like, okay, we got to try something. Let's hope Mike Young is alone here. We maybe kill him. Baron spawns, but it's just Trick finding a special right now, and Trick is kind of all alone. Oh, yeah. Not going to get a chance. The chain CC comes in. Down goes the jungler. Arrow is godlike in P1. I know that feeling on Twitch. Sure, buddy. Sure. Every game. <laughs> every game. And Ryu, a man who's been getting honestly destroyed so frequently, but it feels like every time he finds that pick, once per season that he is successful on something that he can really execute on, it has been this quirky, and you can see in day one, similar story. Yeah, I love the fact that yesterday he was just involved in like every single kill. This uh, kill participation you see in the middle was actually 100%. If we look just like at before 15 minutes, this is the entire game. So sadly he missed out on like one kill in the entire game here. And he's been doing uh, well again, Myth, he's oh. dead. Mike Young moving forward. Sven trying to get back what he can. Meanwhile, the top laners are dishing it out in that one for one. But Spray and Prey coming in, the Root going in as well just to stop Arrow from taking anything else. It is a battle for survival here on the side of G2 with the oh. rebound. Not going to come in in time. Expect. They have saved his team in the end, but triple inhibitors stacked up against G2 and P1. Just dishing out so much damage. Cocoon's not connecting. Hook's not connecting. Not enough damage. Woo! But that's not a problem for the Corky. And now... Yeah, you know that feeling too, huh, Deficient? Yeah, exactly. 
G2. The TP is coming in to keep the minion healthy, to keep P1 on that Nexus, and this very well could be the end. Oh, they're gonna get that last tower. They want some oh, kills. Kick back style play coming in from Mike Young. Can G2 kill him? Doesn't look like they're gonna get it, but Zig now pulled him the fountain, stunned up at the D mount. Means the aggro is gonna swap, and Ryu just going in for the disrespect. Phoenix one, taking down the first place seed from Europe. And oh. I, I mean, it's kind of surprising at this point that G2 keeps finding a new way to kind of disappoint when you're watching them because. Yesterday, when that early game comp, they did well early on, then they couldn't set up Baron plays. This game, they had the exact same composition, exactly the same one. And they got completely outplayed by P1 in the early game, so they didn't even get to the point where they could actually start snowballing this composition. And the fact that P1 are playing so well, starting from Week 5 and in NALCS into this Rift Rivals tournament here, is super impressive with this new lineup. And the fact, really, uh, you know, to kind of inspire more confidence in this team, is that they started out with an early deficit. You know, Trick had a very good early start to this game. Gets the first blood on Mike Young, gets the counter jungle on Mike Young, but he stays proactive. They make so many different counter plays, both sides of the map, and are able to really turn it into another kind of one-sided game.